Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker and it is a beautiful day to show you how to use the Cricut Mug Press to make gorgeous personalized mugs that are dishwasher and microwave safe and the great maker show and tell. I love making personalized mugs, but the ones that I've been making with vinyl have always had two major drawbacks. Mugs with vinyl are iffy in the dishwasher and a definite no-no in the microwave. Now, I did an extensive dishwasher test of a variety of vinyls a few years ago, maybe you've seen it, and I found that some types of vinyl would stay on the mugs when I ran them through my dishwasher, but I've heard of different results with different dishwashers. It's definitely one of those your mileage may vary sort of situations. And I found that I didn't like worrying about whether um, the vinyl was gonna come off when someone dishwashed it and when I gave them a mug. And then of course, putting vinyl in a microwave not only breaks down the adhesive on the vinyl, but it can create fumes, which is dangerous. So what do you do when you want a dishwasher and microwave safe mug that is easy to personalize? Up to now, you had to get a clunky mug press or a big heat press with a mug attachment to sublimate a mug design. It's a steep learning curve for most people to figure out heat and press settings and then sublimation printing on top of that. And it is the opposite of easy. But now there is a simpler solution to better mugs, the Cricut Mug Press. So Cricut graciously gifted me with their new mug press to try out before it was available in stores. Thank you so much, Cricut. But please know that I am free to let you know what I really think of it as always. Okay, so after using the Cricut Mug Press for a few weeks to make all of these awesome mugs that you see here, my verdict is that this is very cool and very easy. Seriously, I really am in love with this. So in a nutshell, the Cricut Mug Press is a super user-friendly mug press that lets you make beautiful mugs in minutes. There are no heat or pressure settings to remember, and the results are amazing. It's small, easy to use, and it works like a champ. Every mug I have made, every single one of these has turned out gorgeous. These mugs feel like what you'd buy at Target or wherever you shop. They're smooth, shiny, and they look super professional. It's better than vinyl or screen printing because the ink infuses right into the surface of the mug and it's utterly seamless. So how does it work? So you just cut out Cricut infusible ink sheets like these over here in the design you want. You put your cut design on the mug, you put the mug in the mug press, and then the mug press takes the temperature of your mug and the ambient temperature in your room to determine the right heat and pressure for you. And then about five to six minutes later, you have a gorgeous mug. It is literally design, cut, apply, and press. That's what makes this so easy. I mean, Look at this, it has one button. That's the power button. And it has an auto off feature for peace of mind. It's designed to be easy and it truly, truly is. Now, I know you're gonna have lots of questions. So what I would like to do is unbox the Cricut Mug Press with you so you know exactly how it, all of that works and what you do to get it set up. And then we'll make one of these pretty, fancy edge mugs that I have designed for you to use. There are five designs plus one that's blank. So please be sure to stay after the unboxing and demonstration so I can tell you about the other types of mugs that you can make, including simple decals like this one, multicolor designs like the elephant here, uh, free, uh, machine pen designs, freehand drawing, and even print sublimation. Now for this first project, I'm going to use one of the 12 ounce Cricut mugs uh, that are made to work with infusible ink. You can also get Cricut mugs in a 15 ounce size that's all white as well as ones with a gray handle and a gray interior. Now for infusible ink, I am going to go for a solid color, red, because that's my favorite. Um, and you can use the regular full-size infusible ink sheets if you already have those, of course. But Cricut has these right size uh, sheets that are perfect for making mugs. So I'm going to use this one for our very first mug project. Beyond that, all I really need is my Cricut a standard grip mat, fine point blade to cut the design, a lint roller to clean my mug, and a heat resistant surface like this easy press mat. Now weeding tools and heat resistant tape, 
are entirely optional and probably not needed for this specific project. And so that's it. We have the mug, infusible ink, a Cricut cutting machine, a heat resistant surface. Oh, and of course we need the Cricut mug press. <laughs> All right, so let's unbox the Cricut Mug Press together, and then I will show you where to get my free mug designs and how to personalize them. Step one, set up your Cricut Mug Press. To set up your Cricut Mug Press, position yourself within two feet of your computer as you'll need to connect the Mug Press to it. Yes, you need to have a desktop or laptop computer running Cricut Design Space to set up your Cricut Mug Press. If you don't have a computer of your own, you can just do this at a friend or family's computer. You cannot skip activation as the Mug Press will not power on without it. Open the box and pull out the Cricut Mug Press, the power cord, and the USB setup cord. Carefully remove the plastic and note that there's a sticker on the power button. It tells you to go to cricut.com slash setup. Now, if you've already got Cricut Design Space downloaded and working on your computer, going to cricut.com slash setup will take you right to Design Space and open the new, new machine setup. But you can also just open up Design Space, click on the icon with the three lines in the upper left corner and choose new machine setup. And then in New Machine Setup, click on Heat Press, and then click Cricut Mug Press. Follow the directions on screen to activate your Cricut Mug Press. The first step is to place the Mug Press on a heat-resistant surface in a well-ventilated area. So turn on that fan or work near an open window. If you're using a self-healing cutting mat like I am, that's fine for the initial setup as most cutting mats like this are heat-resistant, but extended heat exposure will decrease the mat's lifespan and weaken its bonds. For that reason, I recommend you use a Cricut Easy Press mat instead, which you'll see me using later on. When you're ready, click the right arrow. The next step of the Cricut Mug Press setup is to plug your Mug Press into a wall outlet or power strip and power it on. The power button will turn orange when it's heating up. The heat plate may give off a smell when you first use it, but this will likely dissipate with time. Mine certainly did, so don't worry. When you're ready, click the right arrow in Design Space again. Now step three of the press setup is to plug the USB cord into the back of your Cricut Mug Press, then connect the USB cord to your computer. Do not try to connect it to your Cricut Maker Machine's USB port, as that will not work. It needs to go into a desktop or laptop computer. If you have a laptop without a USB port, you can buy an inexpensive USB-C hub adapter to use. And note that the setup cord is only 24 inches long, so if you can get within two feet of your computer, use a USB extension cord to get more reach. This is what I did. Now when you're ready, click that continue button in Design Space, which will only become available once Cricut Design Space detects that you've connected the Cricut Mug Press. Now, once you have connected the Cricut Mug Press to your computer via USB, you're asked to add the Cricut Mug Press to your Cricut ID. Verify that this is the right email and account, then agree to the terms of service and click Activate. Cricut will do a firmware update and make sure all settings are current. This is important as so much of the hard work is done by the Mug Press as it figures out the heat and pressure settings for you, which is really so cool. When the update is done, which won't take long, you're ready to go. From this point on, you can use the mug press without connecting it to your computer, so remove the USB cable and keep it safe in case Cricut asks you to do a firmware update again. All right, so by this point, your Cricut mug press is likely all heated up. It will beep at you and the power button will turn green when it's ready to go. I recommend you put your Cricut Mug Press on a 12 by 12 easy press mat. Not only does this provide heat resistance wherever you are working, but it will also give you room to cool off mugs and it makes it super easy to slide your mug press out of the way when you're cutting your mug design. If you don't have a pressing mat like this, you can just use a folded bath towel. Step two, design a mug. Now you need a design for your mug. You'll find a mug design setup under projects in Cricut Design Space if you want to start from scratch. Note that you can choose the size and edging of your design from the drop down menu. You can also click on images on the left and search on mug to find pre-made mug designs, some free, some paid. 
But I want to make this super simple for you by giving you an easy and beautiful design that shows off the awesomeness of the Cricut Mug Press. So I designed several mug wraps perfect for personalization. Download my free mug wrap designs from my blog at jennifermaker.com 288. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries and then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design 288 and then click it to download the designs. Now inside the folder are six different mug wrap designs, all of which match some of my most popular projects. But I've got butterflies, which match the butterfly heart canvas, hearts, which goes with the paper heart tree canvas, flowers, which goes with the flower dress canvas, stars, which goes with my star lanterns, filigree, which goes with the filigree cards and favor boxes, and a blank wrap. I matched them up because I love the idea of giving a matching mug along with one of these special projects as a gift. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to personalize the butterfly mug wrap, but just know that they will all work the same way. Now upload the butterflies SVG cut file to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com SVGS. Here's what the file looks like in Design Space when you upload it. Note that there are two sizes of mug designs in all of my files. The smaller one on top is for the 12 ounce Cricut mug, while the larger one on the bottom is for the 15 ounce Cricut mug. Hide or delete the size that you don't need by selecting the layer and clicking either the eye icon to hide it or the trash can icon to delete it. At this point, the design alone makes for a really pretty mug and you can go ahead and cut this out as is. Just skip to step three. But if you'd like to personalize your design, you can add text, images, or both. Let me show you how to add text and a small image to this design. First, click on text over on the left and type a word, name, or phrase. Then click on the font menu at the top and choose a font that you like. I'm choosing a font called Tingler because it's both a beautiful script font and a stencil font, which makes weeding super easy. Note that the letters are not touching yet, but we want them to touch for a pretty look and for easier weeding. So to change this, click on the drop down menu below letter space at the top of your screen and reduce letter spacing until all of the letters are touching in a word and look good to you. Reposition and resize the text on your mug wrap until you're happy. Now, if you want to add more text with the same sizing and letter spacing, right click on the text layer and choose duplicate. Then move that new text line into position, double click it and add your new words. You can resize both text layers by selecting both of them. Just hold down the shift key as you click on each layer and use the resize button in the lower right. Now I want my text to lift and dip like the flight of a butterfly. So I'm going to curve each of these two layers separately. To do this, I click on the first text layer to select it, then click on curve at the top of my screen and slide that diameter over to the right to make it curve up. Then I select the second text layer, click on curve again and slide that diameter over to the left to make it curve down. Adjust as necessary until you're happy with the results. Isn't this pretty? Now we need to cut these words out of the mug wrap itself. To do this, first weld those text layers together. Next, select both the weld layer and the mug wrap layer. That should be just two layers and click slice. This removes the text from the mug wrap. Just delete the sliced out words. There'll be two of those extra layers you don't need until you're left with just the mug wrap layer like this. If you'd like to add an image, click on images and search for something like a butterfly. You can click on ownership over on the right and choose free to only see free images. When you find one, click on it to add it to your canvas. Now just position, resize and rotate until you think it looks good. When you're happy, click on the image and your mug wrap to select both layers, then click slice again. Delete the extra slice layers that you don't need until you have just one mug wrap layer remaining. Your mug wrap with the image sliced out, just like this. And ta-da, you have a beautiful and personalized mug design ready to go. Step three, cut out your infusible ink. 
Once you have your mug design, click on Make It in the upper right corner of your screen. On the Prepare screen, be sure to mirror your design. All infusible ink designs for the Cricut Mug Press should be mirrored. Just click the toggle under Mirror on the left side until it turns green, then click Continue. Now set your material. Click on Browse All Materials and search for Infusible Ink. I also recommend more pressure to be sure it cuts through the Infusible Ink transfer sheet. You can use the full-size transfer sheets or the smaller infusible ink transfer sheets that are already sized for the Cricut Mug Press. They're really cool and they make it very easy to just take one out of the box and cut it and you're good to go. Uh, but I didn't have the, exactly the right color I wanted for my test, so I'm just going to use a scrap of infusible ink I have left over from another project. Mugs make for great scrap buster projects because they often don't require a lot of infusible ink. Now place your infusible ink matte color side up, which means the shiny carrier side down, on your cutting mat. Be sure the fine point blade is loaded into the Cricut as well. Um, now I recommend you wash and dry your hands immediately before you handle infusible ink to avoid transferring any oils to the surface. All right, so load your mat and press the flashing button to begin. The butterfly wrap takes about eight minutes to cut. All done cutting, unload the mat, flip the mat over onto your work surface, and peel the mat away from the infusible ink carefully. I've designed my mug wraps so that the outside template will cut completely out of the larger infusible ink transfer sheet. This makes it super easy to apply to your mug later on. But if for any reason it didn't cut all the way through to the outside like mine does, you can either trim it later with some scissors or next time increase your cut pressure in your custom material settings. I have my infusible ink transfer sheet material settings on 268 pressure and it works like a champ on my Cricut Explorer. Step four, weed your infusible ink mug design. Once you cut out your infusible ink, you'll want to weed it, which means to remove all of the extra bits that you don't want to transfer to your mug. To get started, roll and gently bend the transfer sheet up and down and around until the edges of the design begin to lift from the carrier sheet just a bit. Now you can just weed the extra bits away with your fingers like I do. You're also welcome, of course, to use a weeding tool, but I find it really works best if I just bend the sheet away from me slightly and pull it right up, pull the little bits right up with my fingers. It's really faster and easier. And I designed this mug wrap so that it would be super easy to weed because I am not personally a big fan of weeding. <laughs> I kept the large areas connected so you could peel them away in one foul swoop. I was able to weed this design in about three minutes, which is pretty good because I'm not very fast. All right, so once you've finished weeding, flip your design over so you can see how it will appear once it's on your mug, right? Because we cut it in mirror image, so we need to flip it over to see it and look for any missing bits that you forgot to weed, like a little dot on your eye or something. Also check for any tiny bits that may be stuck somewhere but do not belong, like that little dot from your letter I. <laughs> Step five, wrap your design around your mug. Now it's time to wrap your design onto your mug. Begin by cleaning the surface of your mug with a lint roller. This removes any dirt or dust and gets the surface as clean as possible. And make sure that the infusible ink transfers cleanly and vividly. To get the design on straight and centered, position your clean mug with the handle pointing toward you, just like this. Now position the mug wrap behind the mug with a matte color side facing the mug and the bottom of the sheet touching your work surface and center it behind the mug as best you can. Now slowly wrap the design around your mug, uh, you know, both sides coming towards you, watching how much you have on each side as you do to keep it centered. And you also want to keep your design touching the work surface to keep it straight on your mug as well. Your goal is to stretch the design tightly around the mug. It's also important that your design be at least a half an inch away from the handle, because if you go beyond that, you may see fading at the edge of your design. Feel free to reposition it until it feels right and looks right to you. 
All right, when it looks good, press down on the sticky carrier sheet to adhere it to the mug's surface. If your carrier sheet doesn't seem to want to stick very well, you can add some heat resistant tape just under the handle to bridge the two sides of your template, but avoid putting a tape over any place where you see infusible ink because it might change how much, how much heat it gets. And that's it. Your design is wrapped around your mug and it's time to press it. You do not need to cover your design with butcher paper if you're just using infusible ink transfer sheets. This is all you need. Step six, press the mug with the Cricut Mug Press. All right, with the Cricut Mug Press powered on and the power button green, which indicates it's ready, hold your wrapped mug by the handle and place it in the heating chamber. Pay attention to where the mug handle is and make sure that the heat plate appears to be covering all of your design. I usually move my handle a bit to the left rather than center it in that open space. Now close the clamp by pushing down on the top of the Cricut mug press and check that the heat plates are completely covering your design. If they aren't, immediately open the clamp, reposition the mug. You'll probably want to rotate the handle a bit to the left and close the clamp again. Closing the clamp starts the pressing process. There is no other button to push or settings to worry about. The Cricut Mug Press takes the temperature of your mug and the ambient temperature of your room and determines the correct settings for you. The little lights on the top of the Cricut Mug Press indicate the progress of your press. An average mug takes about six minutes to press. When the Cricut Mug Press is all finished, it will beep at you. <laughs> Lift up on the clamp to release it and pull the mug out by the handle, which will not be hot. But be careful not to touch the heat plate like, with the back of your fingers or touch any other part of the mug as they will both be very hot and I don't want you to get burned. Immediately place your mug on a heat resistant surface to cool. I place my mug on the same mat that I'm using for my mug press itself as it's right there and super convenient. And note that the plastic on the Cricut mug press doesn't get hot at all. You can totally touch it, move it around. You just want to keep your hands, fingers away from the heat plate or the hot mug itself. So allow the mug to cool down before you remove the transfer sheet. This takes anywhere from about 15 to 30 minutes. Step seven, show it off. When the mug is cool enough to handle, pull off an end of the transfer sheet from under the handle and unwrap your beautiful mug. The color is gorgeous from top to bottom. It's vivid and consistent and I am in love with this. And that is all there is to using this. So once you've used your Cricut Mug Press for the first time, you'll see how simple it is to make consistently beautiful mugs in minutes. I know I was amazed at how great it looked on my first try, especially since I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> The Cricut Mug Press is easy, which is really good because easy means we're more likely to use it when we need it and be happy with the results. All right, so I know you've got questions and I have answers for you, but be sure to stay tuned after this video for a closer look at these other mug designs and more details on how I made them with the Cricut Mug Press, because it's really, really cool. All right, so first you may be wondering what kinds of mugs you can use. Cricut makes 12 ounce and 15 ounce mugs that you can buy. Um, and they're re reasonably priced too. And they've been vetted by Cricut to work with infusible ink. But you can also use any poly-coated mug that has straight sides that's between 11 and 16 ounces. That's 350 to 450 milliliters. You want to avoid curves and uneven textures. For example, you couldn't use a curved mug like this because the sides are tapered down, not straight up and down like this one. So look for sublimation compatible mugs with straight walls that are no taller than four and three quarters of an inch high. You're not gonna be able to use a dollar store mug unless they start coming out with sublimation blank mugs, which they don't currently when I'm making this video. All right, so now as for materials, you can use all infusible ink sheets, pens, and markers with the Cricut mug press as well as printed sublimation materials. But do note that iron-on and heat transfer vinyl is not compatible with the mug press because you can get the adhesive residue on the walls of your mug press that may cause issues or even damage the heat plate entirely.
Now, once your design is pressed and cooled, it is good to go. You do not have to wait for it to cure or anything like that before you use it or dishwash it or microwave. It's awesome. Now, if you're wondering how long it takes for the Cricut mug press to warm up, I timed it at four minutes, but it's gonna depend on the ambient temperature of your room, of course. My room was cold because <laughs> it's winter. My favorite thing about the mug press is just how simple and fast it is. So here's a story. On Valentine's Day, I needed a last minute gift for Greg and Alexa. I was able to design personalized mugs, cut out the design, press them, have them both in gift boxes in under an hour. Everyone can use a mug and it seems like the perfect gift making machine next to my Cricut, of course. All right, so if you've got any more questions about using mugs with the Cricut Mug Press, please let me know. I love to help out. Leave your question below this video or ask over in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where you can get help, advice, inspiration, and ideas from Cricut Crafters just like you. And if you need a Cricut cutting machine, I give one away every month. You could enter for your chance to win your very own Cricut cutting machine at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow to show you more ways to use the Cricut mug press to make beautiful mugs. Until tomorrow, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. This mug is cute. I think it's cute, but what if you want a different look and feel? So after making all of these mugs that I've made, I've grouped the mugs into six categories. There's the full top to bottom coverage mug that we're doing in this tutorial. But then there's also the decal style where the cup is mostly white, like this inspirational mug. There's the multicolor style, like this elephant mug, where the colors are layered before you press it. Then there's the mug with the style with patterns drawn by a Cricut pen or maker any machine like the Mandela mug over there. And then there's the freehand mug where you can just use a pen or marker to draw your own design like that dot design right here. I am going to show you exactly how to make each one of these mug styles in upcoming tutorials. And the designs are free for all of these mugs over on my blog at jennifermaker.com. Now the sixth style of mug is a print sublimation mug. And once I get my own sublimation printer a little later, I will show you how to do a sublimation printed mug with the Cricut mug press as well. There's really a lot of variation in techniques and my goal is to show you how to do everything that you need to do in the coming days and weeks. Mm -hmm.